certainly people with kidney disease should be very concerned about drinking fluoridated water because it does put them at a higher risk for a number of problems uh, from bone problems to teeth problems if they're children to some of the endocrine and other problems. People with kidney problems are at higher risk of, of effects from fluoride for uh, two major reasons. One is that many of them will have a higher water intake, so the actual exposure is higher. Uh, at least as important is the fact that most of these people have reduced clearance or elimination of fluoride from the body, so they're going to accumulate it faster. They're going to have higher levels in their blood. They're more likely to see adverse effects of fluoride than people with normal elimination. The problems posed uh, a fluoride toxicity for individuals with kidney disease is, is a major concern, one that I do not understand why in the United States that we haven't been looking into this issue um, uh, much more strenuously years ago. We know in, from studies done in this country that at two parts per million people with, with kidney disease have bone damage at two parts per million. But there's never been a systematic study to see what one part per million fluoridated water does to people with kidney disease. It's very disturbing that in the United States that there have been no systematic studies whatsoever on the increased susceptibility that is be almost certain to occur in individuals with kidney disease with respect to fluoride toxicity. If you go back to the 60s, scientists were recommending that studies be done to examine the effect of fluoride on people with kidney disease. But after 40 years, those studies have not been done. The impacts that I would be concerned about of, of excess fluoride intake, such as in water fluoridation for a kidney patient, is the impact, for example, on their bone health. You would have increased accumulations of fluoride and you would create uh, conditions of uh, osteoporosis. It could be aggravating several bone diseases. But also, you also can have uh, an, a greater impact on other areas of the body, even neurological function and thyroid function. This population has been ignored and we have actually put this population at greater risk by instituting policies such as fluoridation.